Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser Skilton. How are you, my dear learners? In this video, we are going to talk about free AI platform where you can use Excel formulas for free using AI to calculate any type of meta analysis formula or data cleaning. It is fantastic platform and we are going to show it and this is one of the best way to clean up your data and analyze your data for the meta analysis. So without wasting any time, let's get started. My dear learners, in this particular case, we are going to talk about the two important things. First of all, the AI spreadsheet we all have been waiting for, meaning that the one that we are talking about for a long time, it is now available. It says that if I ever feel like you spend more time managing spreadsheets than actually using them to get things done. So Bricks AI, this is the platform, spreadsheet does the work for you. No more formulas, no more hours of data cleanup, just answers and best of all, it's free to use. And that's what we are going to do. So what we have to do, create your first sheet. You open up a new spreadsheet and then I have few data set where I can demonstrate how you can do it. Open up from the new file. There are so many options you can do. One, create an AI powered spreadsheet, create a dashboard, create a chart, use AI to create charts and graphs, generate a dashboard and report from your data, analyze and visualize your data, transform your data with the tables, generate daily calendar to plan your tax activity. So what we are going to do is we are going to use a data first meta analysis data in order to show how we can calculate forest plot and do a random effect model analysis. So let me let me show the show it with this particular platform. So what we can do transform your data analyze and visualize the data. I click this one. You will see drag and drop your file Excel file and then we have copy and paste your data option and play with the dummy data. So I have a data set from the Excel. So I will search for this data. You can see that this is one of the data meta analysis test. I open this data and you can see the data set is already inside in the particular spreadsheet. Now we can see all the information from this data set are available in this spreadsheet. Now in this particular prompt box, I can write down that create a forest plot from effect size, effect size and standard error from table one. Okay. And then I press OK. And you will see that the prompt is going to calculate a forest plot for me. And you can see how it will go create for me. It will explain it. Once it is done, you can just accept it and you will see that the forest plot is just next to the next to the plot. OK, so and there are a lot of information given over here. Now, again, if I say that I want to run a random effect model, so just press random run, run a random effect model from table one. OK, uh, using effect size and also standard error and enter and let me see how it works. You can see that the working is also going on from the analysis part very easily and uh, it will give me more analysis. You can see random effect analysis and random effect standard error 95% confidence interval and 95% confidence upper interval random effect model is already given here. So if I say run a heterogeneity test heterogeneity test from this random effect model random effect model let me see and there are a lot of way you can actually analyze there are so many ways subgroup meta analysis data from meta analysis with the network meta analysis whatever you want you can do it now from here i ask the ai to calculate for me and the AI will calculate all the information, Q statistics, tau statistics, I square statistics, and I press OK. You will see that the effects, the Q statistics, degrees of freedom, and I square is also given here. Now I want to say, can you explain, explain the 
data of the heterogeneity results i want to see heterogeneity results heterogeneity test and let me see can you explain the data and you can see that the ai is going to explain from this table and it is going to explain what does the q statistics stands for degrees of freedom stands for and i square stands for so you can see all of these information are given over here fantastically one by one it gives you an understanding about what heterogeneity means and how heterogeneity actually explained from this particular table so this is how you can easily do the analysis there is another way i can i want to share another important things for example i want to create a new new file and again i want to upload a data set which is not clean let's say this is the data set wdi world development indicators and i upload this data set this is all the data set are given in the horizontal axis so i want to trans transpose this data so can i can you transpose the data so when i say transpose the data so the table will be transformed into a new table format and as you can see that all the data sets are transformed and you can see the variables are given over here so this is the actual data set is become a transposed data set of each and every variable and you can now analyze your data set each and everything very easily now from here also suggesting prompt you can go uh, try to make a dashboard as well very simple dashboard let me see let's say i want to create a dashboard and visualize so if i click dashboard the ai prompt will create a dashboard nowadays you need to use a dashboard quite often in different type of presentation so that will also help you to create a dashboard from the ai prompt and you can see that the dashboard is going to make using ai it's very simple and very easy no need to use excel in order to analyze data or remember formulas now it is easy to create any type of analysis with the excel data clean up your data set and most of the cases we know that 95 percent of our analysis is based on the data cleaning so this sort of platform will help me the data cleaning very easily because other platforms are paid version this is completely free version so that is the reason why i recommended this version and you can see that the regular quality regulatory quality government incentive all this information are given over here and the dashboard is also created so there are a lot of information are you can create from this info particular uh, data set and you can create charts diagrams and everything so bricks ai by far is the best platform for analyze your excel data clean up your data meta analysis uh, type uh, different type of method meta analysis methodology in order to calculate from your raw data everything you can do it in this particular platform bricks ai so i hope this video is useful for you and hopefully we will see you in the next tutorial with exciting new information about ai and also research related information so thank you so much my dear learners i'll see you in the next tutorial